I guess I should get out there and start dashing, or if anything, just go ahead and get online. It's not busy in this area, but you can dash down because you're a top dasher. Well, guess what? I'm not going over to Walmart. I'm only going to go to 1.30 right now because I'm planning on going back out again during dinner. I went out this morning already. And I declined six runs. Five of them were Walmart. And I do not do Walmart anymore. Let's see if it's... Ooh, I need this phone call. Hold on a second. Where was I? I didn't think I was going to get that phone call. I mean, the irony, I started this video. I don't even... Uh, I, what the hell was I talking about? Midlife loser. Oh yeah, here we go. Buffalo Wild Wings. It's one item, two miles, five dollars and sixty cents. These people aren't picking them up themselves. I kid you not. This Buffalo Wild Wings. You heard me say it. Two miles. Where I'm dropping it off at, from the looks of it, it's right over there. <laughs> I just pulled out of my garage, too. See, th those kind of $5 orders, I don't mind at all. It's an easy five bucks. I'm gonna go inside here, pick up this B-dubs, and deliver basically right by where we just came from. Yay! I wasn't gonna even talk about this anymore, but I just walked, or just walked to this Buffalo Wild Wings to get these, oh, they smell so good. <laughs> he, he does DoorDash part-time. Well, he hasn't done it in a while, but he's, he still considers himself to be a dasher. Because he, it's, in other words, it's been long enough to, he's like, are they still doing grocery store deliveries? And I was laughing with him. I said, well, let's put it this way. I declined. It was either five or six Walmart today. He says, man, I don't, he said he got a phone call from DoorDash wanting to know why he, <laughs> Why well, he was declining a lot of orders, and ironically, it was right after this one. He said it was good, they were gonna give him a base. What was it, nine dollars for a thirty-four mile round trip? I'm like, yeah, it's. <laughs> I, I tell you what, <sighs> live and let learn, right? Live and let learn. But I'm gonna try not to be negative. I'm gonna try not to bash. Or anything like that. I'm gonna try to have some fun in this video. Try not to bore the hell out of you. Honestly, speaking of boring, as I scratch myself, uh, this morning I had a little bit of a challenge. I'm like, huh, what video could I make next that could be fun, that could be silly? Now, every once in a while it'll come to me like that. But I go through, I think what, what a lot of creators go through. You gotta you go through a block. In other words, I'm going through a creator's block. There we go. I like make, obviously I like creating the goofy videos, the fun videos. I'm like, oh, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I'm, I'm going, like I said, through a creator's block right now. In fact, I'm probably going to be watching these in post production, going like, how am I going to put these together? Are you a dasher too, or are you just waking up there, buddy? <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> Oh, come on, 11.30. Give me something. Are you pissed off at me because I declined them Walmart orders? They probably are. Oh, well, I can kiss my butt. Sorry, I don't work for free. There we go. New order of Buffalo Wild Wings. $4 this time, but it's two miles. Oh, well, yeah, I'll take it. It's the opposite direction this time. What? I wish you would have clang, 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 clang a second ago. I would have just kept on moving over there. Ding, ding. You're, that's annoying and rude. I'm trying to talk to the, the camera that will eventually speak to the people. The people. The people. Who was it that said? Oh, that was Bill Cosby. The people. Or something like that. I might need to shut up. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, another one. Hell yeah. An additional one mile for another four dollars. Yeah, might well, as well. That I don't mind. That's even easier. So no, it went from four to eight bucks for a total of three miles. There is something that I want to tell everyone, and I'll get to it when I feel like it's the right time. It has to do with that phone call I had earlier. I'm really excited. I really am. I'll try to get to it here in a little bit. Let's go pick up these two orders, shall we? 
Oh, by the way, if it, if it seems like I never look at you, it's because I'm driving and I'm always looking at my surroundings, so I apologize. I really do. I know it's not going to happen. Turn right onto Springport Way, then turn left onto Stockholm Drive. I just know that it's not, but if it wants to stay, you know, temperatures want to stay around at the stop sign, turn the mid 50s all through Drive. February. won't hear me complaining about it. I know it's not going to, but I really stop sign. Turn right onto Summerdale Drive. I really then don't want to Damn it woman, I'm trying to talk. Alright, just drop that off. Now I'm heading to Bob Evans. Cheap. I apologize for the foul language here. Today. <sighs> you know what? I'm not gonna let it I'm not gonna let it bother me. I want to focus on something else right now. If I stay busy and it's not far driving, then it all adds up. Somebody not from YouTube, it's better to say MTV, somebody from here where I basically try to focus on work in Uber Heights, somebody who recognizes me from doing this, just said, do you work at Capital Tire? Yeah, because I have these on. I'm like, no. I'm like, oh, okay. I'll just, cause just, they say, see, we wear this all the time. I said, I have seven of these hoodies, and I have like five uh, Capital Tire sweatshirts. I have an uncle who used to work for this company. He lived with me at a place I lived out in Inglewood back in 2010, and he had tons of these. And he actually lost a lot of weight, and they were absolutely huge on him. And I believe it or not, I have three of my hoodies. They're huge on me, and I'm... So he asked me if I wanted these, I'm like, heck yeah, I'll take them. I mean, they're comfortable and they hardly shrink, so, so yes, that, if you ever wondered, do I ever change my clothes or do I own anything else other than this Capital Tire? No, it's just, it's winter and they're comfortable to wear and the hell ever. I only have one pair of underwear, so it evens out. <laughs> Bob Evans, I'm seeing the street, Troy Villa. Then it says instructions. Okay. Usually for us, you know, instructions, right? It's a business or it might tell you about whatever. The house is really not on this street or we have a, a white car or a flag or something. This one here, it says instructions. <laughs> here, I'll, I, I got to share this. But instructions, this is, this is obviously a resident, by the way. Instructions. Come to the front door. <laughs> like <that. sighs> I've got some other things rolling through my mind that I'm not going to share here, you know, on YouTube. But uh, <laughs> uh, especially, uh, yeah, because where it's going. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just find that funny. Instructions: Just come to the door, or yeah, come to the door. Not which ooh, but what door? <laughs> Okay, I gotta see something here real quick. Sorry, didn't mean to point you into a litter box. The reason why, I'd, the whole reason behind that. And I'm not thinking ahead. Usually I do that when I'm doing videos, editing-wise. My mind is really distracted right now. Uh, my cat left Monday. She took off Monday. Shortly after the part of where I finished lunch on Monday, Bob Evans, no, I came home, ate a little bit of lunch myself, and then I was planning on going back out for dinner, like, you know what, I better check my fluids. I usually try to do that more often with an older car. I got the garage door open. I mean, it's 60-something it's degrees out here. You know, Sunday and Monday, it was well above normal. It really felt like spring around here. I see a lot of people running around with their shorts on and everything. Southwestern Ohio, very seldom does it feel that warm around. I mean, we, we always say, I think it's very common in the Midwest. People will say, well, stick around. If you don't like the weather now in 15 minutes, it'll, I'm sure it'll change. We say that a lot here in Ohio. Sorry, I'll get to the point. I said, my cat, she took off Monday. She's an indoor cat. 
but that particular day having the garage door open which my house obviously faces the street well now I'm, I think you can tell I'm in the backyard right now at that time I had the garage door open if I made that clear I had the garage door open the main door that leads out to the garage my kitchen my utility room basically furnace washer and dryer her litter box extra storage if I don't shut that well enough especially with the garage door open or in the summer or spring if I have the patio door open with the screen in other words there's a vacuum that will react especially if I have all these doors open they'll slam I mean it's it slams hard well, in this case it opened just a little bit which led to my cat easel and that's her name easel it's actually spelled I S O L D E it's Greek when I adopted her that was the name I apparently the uh, original owners gave her but I've always just pronounced it because it was something like Esold or something like that so I just call her easel well I know she came out to the garage because my cat she's a talker she meows all the time not as much as she did when I first got her but she could be in the hallway I could sit on the couch and I swear sometimes she's cussing at me because I'm not giving the attention that she's wanting so she could be in the hallway like she's walking down there midway through I hear her meow she's probably saying something else but you get the point so I know she's out in the garage as I could hear her. I'm trying to tell her because my hands are full they're already greasy and usually she's pretty good if I tell her to stop or whatever she'll stop and she'll go flying the other way she's she's very playful she's very I don't know she's got a personality there's no doubt about it well no she didn't want to go in she was somewhere I don't know at this point because I've got my head underneath the hood of the car she's obviously at this point close to the door well now I see this stray dog I've never seen this dog before come up to my right which is yeah well my my right sorry and it got my attention so I'm trying to get this dog, and the dog was friendly. Try to get the dog to go away. I'm like, you know, go on, get going, you know, shoo. Well, the dog sees my cat. It starts going into the garage, starts barking. Then I see from my peripheral vision, easel taking off that way, outside, towards across, well, across the street, towards my neighbors. The dog's chasing her. I react to her by, well, <laughs> hood goes down. I turn around. I don't see my cat. I just see the ass end of the dog chasing her. Well, I see her, but she's getting way further ahead. She's fast. So then I go try looking for her. I can't find her anywhere. She's obviously scared as hell. A, she's not an outdoor cat. I contact the place where I adopted her from. I even contact home again, which is um, basically she's she's got a chip in the back of her neck. You may have heard of them, or you have this, if you have a pet, you may have the very same. It Basically what it does is it helps... If you lose your pet, this this helps you find your pet, dog or cat. Well, with that, the company that I where I adopted her from, Facebook uh, group, my neighbors, uh, even putting a thing up at the grocery store. You know, if you've seen this cat, please give me a call. Blah blah blah. It's Wednesday and it's cold again. In fact, last night it was nasty outside pouring down rain they were talking about a wintery mix but it was just nasty outside and all I could do is just worry constantly you know that poor little cat I'm hoping if anything right now for her sake she is in someone's home nice and warm you know I'd rather her be safe yes I want her back but I'd rather her be safe maybe they'll see that I'm missing or someone will I don't know so yeah, I'm a little distracted. I'm not my usual perky self. And I really wanted to end this video by telling you exactly what was going on about that phone call. Here lately, I've been thinking I need to do something about the security, the finances. Yeah, I need to go back to finding a real job again. Unfortunately, in my market, it's just not working out as well as I'd hoped to. I had a lot of high hopes, but it's just not working out. Taking advantage of being a dasher, I decided if I'm going to go look for a job, I'm not just going to go off anywhere. I'm going to try to apply to these places that I, you know, they have a good reputation, a good rapport, et cetera, et cetera. Well, to backtrack, about six years ago, there was a company that I tried applying for. I didn't have any luck then. It all worked out for the best because I actually started working for somebody else that put me in a better position at the time. To make a long story short, like I said, it all worked out for the best. I keep on hearing 
<laughs> so anyways, just recently I noticed that they were looking to hire again. So I went through the process, set up my resume. I mean, I've been on Indeed.com, all that. They contacted me, and then I went up there this past Friday. Yeah, this past Friday, sat down, spoke with two gentlemen. And it was a good conversation, an hour-long interview. Yeah, it was 4 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I remember now. Because I actually had another interview at 4.20. Honestly, I wasn't that thrilled about it, but I chose this one because I wanted to get on with them six years ago. You and I were talking on the last, or well, this video. <laughs> Say, I'm thinking because I've already edited it out. I started off the video, I get a phone call, that was them. They wanted to know if I was still interested in the position. And if so, they needed me to come in Tuesday to fill out some forms. And I kind of got the impression, maybe go ahead and take the drug test and a physical. Well, I was right. I go up there 8.30 Tuesday morning, fill out a form. They gave me some information and said if I could do it now, basically go to a place to go pee in a cup and do a physical. Okay, yeah, definitely. I'll get it over with. So I go through all that. Yes, I know I passed the physical. I'm not happy about the weight gain that I've seen, but other than that, doctor says I'm good to go. And I talked about that. Now i got to wait possibly another day because they ship it to either Cleveland or Columbus, and that's Cleveland is way far north of here. But the thing that's really sad today, I know that there's places that they could pee in a cup and they can get the results right then and there. I guess they like to do a more thorough investigation, which I can respect that. No big deal. But I'm really hoping that they call me today, by the end of the day, and see if I'd be interested in starting tomorrow, work Thursday or Friday, because thankfully this job pays weekly. I'm not crazy about those bi-weekly pays. So, waiting to hear back for them. And I'm obviously, as you can tell, I'm not worried about not passing. Um, unless caffeine becomes a serious issue, then yes, I'm in trouble. So, <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. Now, what does this mean about my future as being a dasher? I'm hoping that in the next few months, I'm done with it, to be honest with you. Um, I want to do it part-time to try to save up some extra money. But I'm just, um, let's just put it this way, without trying to sound too negative, without trying to bash the company, because it could be working out great for you in your market. You'd be making more money than you ever had doing that, uh, being a dasher, or being an independent contractor for them. If so, that's awesome. Keep it up. Keep moving forward. Maybe find more ways to grow with them. But unfortunately here, it's extremely inconsistent. And it breaks my heart because I was having fun with it. I love the freedoms. But I'm just not, I'm making less money now than I did a month ago. And I know every market's going to have its ups and downs, but I, I have to find something with more security. I'm not getting any younger. And this place is always going to have issues. It's just hard for me to keep up. So I think that probably sounds mature. You know, I'm going to take responsibilities for it not working out as well. In other words, I could point fingers all day long, and it's just, it's just ridiculous. Yes, I want to go try to find my cat. I will definitely keep everyone posted on how that goes, and I'll let you know how this job goes. Like I said, I wanted to get on with them six, sorry, about six months ago, six years ago. And yeah, I will obviously do an occasional video where I'm out there dashing part-time, but uh, I do, I do. I want to move forward. Like I said in this earlier in the video, I want to create more videos that are fun, that are goofy, that are more entertaining anyway, so... Yeah. So if you, if you really enjoy all my door dashing videos, there's not going to be that many in the future, as you can probably tell right now if I'm not going to be doing it on a regular basis. But I don't think I'm known to be a YouTuber that's known for his DoorDash videos anyway, so. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching all the videos that I have posted. Subscribing to this YouTube channel, that's awesome. I highly appreciate it. Naturally, you know what to do if you want to subscribe <laughs> there's the button there's the bell you know how it works so yeah i'm gonna shut up and ironically when i talk about not dashing as much i need to go out there and no i'm not talking to you siri but i need to go out there and door dash so i'm actually gonna walk around and see if i have any luck with finding her so alrighty. hope to see you soon with better news if you know what i mean Thanks again. I appreciate it.
It's for some reason in my head that didn't end right. Y you know what I mean. Maybe it's because I'm thinking way too much. I miss my cat. A little pain in the butt. <laughs> See you soon.